Hello there. Uh, finally, I got around to making an actual video. I've never done this one. Oh, well, actually, I have, but not my face on it. Anyway, I uh, just wanted to kind of touch bases on something that's been going on. And again, things that just bother me day in and day out. I just decided not to say anything. Because uh, people that know me know that um, I could be very, very aggressive, very, very hostile. Uh, I don't always choose the best words to express how I'm feeling. Um, so throughout my life, I've actually come down to the point where I just rather not say anything about anything. But just wanted to kind of explain as to how is it that I live my life? What is wrong with this lady? And there goes mine. It's okay. I'll be okay. Um, I live my life with a simple uh, rule, and it's that um, everybody. Everybody is their own king and queen of their own world. Uh, meanwhile, you don't step in, on somebody else's toes. What do I mean by that? Well, if you invite me to your home and I come over and while I'm at your home, I see something I don't like. Well, again, you are the king of your world or queen. I'm entering into your realm. It is not my place at all to say anything Period. Uh, now, there are a few things that you actually become friends, that as friends you should address something, but again, it's, it's you have to be very, very selective as to what you speak of. Like, I'm not gonna go into your house and tell you about how you're being a bad parent. That right there, pretty much, as a parent, you can get killed for that. I mean, metaphorically. But, um, and vice versa, if you come to my house and, you know, my rules and, you're, you know, you're the king of your own world, but you're in my realm. Your title's nothing. Now there is this median uh, world, which is where uh, you and I both have to work together. Um, let's say, for example, we share an apartment. At that point, then I am the king of my world. Whatever happens during my little space is my space. You have nothing to say. Period. Same thing goes towards you. Your space, your world, I have nothing to say. Where one person can step into the other realm is if those realms are actually neutral. So for example, if, again, as a roommate, you're perfectly fine with leaving your shoes in the living room, but I'm not okay with that. And if I tell you, hey, get your shoes out of the living room, then your responsibility is to pick them up because now we're in a neutral realm and you are bothering me. So I would then address to you what's bothering me. Um, this is something that goes on with everything in, in life. If you actually think about it for a moment, you'd be like, holy shit. Um, my house, my house. Shit, work, neutral. Uh, Facebook, neutral. Um, my Twitch pays. It's my control, but it's kind of also still neutral. Um, it's just one of those things where it bothers me how people always try to enforce their beliefs on others. This is my fucking space. Here's the motherfucking line. You stay on that side. I stay on this side. You don't fuck with me. I don't fuck with you. Simple as that. I don't understand why people have to take that extra step to um, fuck somebody up because they don't like something. Stop being a bitch address it as an adult. I don't care if you're even a child. You have to have a basic understanding that if something bothers you, it is your job to go ahead and approach the other person and let them know what you are doing is bothering me. For you to hold it in and be a little bitch and take the back road, then you are exactly that, just a bitch. Um, but yeah, there's things that we could talk about, about people that are not very outspoken, are not confrontational, whatever it is. Find that one person that's a neutral ground that you can speak to. So if you're, let's say you're a little bit younger and you're not, you're not used to going ahead and confronting somebody, guess what? Mom and pops are around. If they're around, tell them. Let them handle it. I know for the most part, some of my, my, my kids, any of them, uh, will rather leave me out of a situation just because when I do approach it, it is not the friendliest. Especially when you're taking a hit at my children. Not good, not good. 
I don't give a fuck if you and I go into a fight and you whoop my ass. Guaranteed if that fight is caused because you did something to my child, I will never lose because I never stop until you are down. But that's another, I, I, I went off the road big time on that one. But again, you are the king, king, queen and king of your own world. Just don't step on somebody else's toe. Think about that, analyze that. If you have some questions, hit it up in the comments below. Peace.